What is good everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are taking a look at the final setup for the Ultimate Hype Beast Apartment Studio. We just recently over the past few days finally finished this studio up. You guys might have seen we teased in the past few weeks that we've been in here. But this entire side over here was completely blank filled with boxes and we finished it up. I'm excited to show you guys some of the things that are like look at that sneaker spin. I'm excited to show you that. This video is brought to you by privacy.com. Now if you don't know what privacy is, privacy basically creates secure virtual cards for you to use on your online channel. Check out. Now they're giving five bucks free for you to use on your first purchase. There'll be a link in the description for you guys to go ahead and get that five dollars off. We'll talk about it a little bit more at the end of the video how it all works and how you get that five bucks. So we have a few things going on. We actually went to IKEA the past few days, put this all together, and recorded that. So we're going to be showing you that on my website this week, HarrisonNeville.com. For the next two weeks, actually, if you use code HNBTS, you can get ten percent off for back to school. I just listed about fifty to seventy-five items on my website. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll be leaving a link down below as well as for that code. I also teamed up with my buddy Justin Sage to go ahead and give away a Xbox One S. We actually got this sent out for this setup and we're doing a giveaway. So all you have to do for that giveaway is you have to one, subscribe to me, one, subscribe to Justin, follow me and Justin on Instagram, and then leave a comment down below with your Instagram username. We'll be picking one winner in two weeks time. I'm excited to get back to you guys. This is a little bit different from sneakers and it's an Xbox. Like who couldn't use an Xbox right now? So without further ado, let's go ahead and rewind back to when we put all this stuff together, show you guys the process, and then we'll show you a whole tour of the new studio setup. All right, guys, so it is time to finally finish up this wall over here in the new studio. You guys might have seen we finished this wall in the first day. We've been trying to figure out what we're going to do with this wall. And we have a very special friend guest coming and staying here for three days. Not in here, but he's staying in Atlanta. His name is Justin. He's a tech YouTuber that I've known for probably two, three years now. He's coming into town doing a video on the setup. So today we have to finalize this. We have to take care of all of this. So we've been kind of going back and forth. Now, Justin is a tech YouTuber, of course, and he's got a lot of connections. Now, I have to give you a huge shout out to TCL for providing the TV for this new setup. So we're able to get a TV. Also, able to get an Xbox One. X from Microsoft. So what we're going to be doing is maybe doing a living room setup for this. So basically we're going to have like a TV stand, TV mounted on the wall, and then shelves around it that are going to house a bunch of different sneaker stuff. So we just got the couch in yesterday, and then we have a bunch of stuff that we have to go ahead and put up. So that's the, the whole goal for today. We're going to take you along to Ikea. We've gone to Ikea a few times, so we don't want to film all of it, but we have a lot of really good stuff and I'm excited to put it all up. It's just been sitting here for so long, so we have a lot of work to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. layout of the TV stand that we're gonna get and then we're gonna get some shelves. This will be pretty much it. I'm still trying to figure out everything, but this is what it's gonna look like. It's gonna be like a TV unit with glass there so we can put, you know, some sneakers, put whatever we need to in there. And uh, I think that should be good. It's gonna be a glass door like this, but it's white. Round number two, we just redid the whole thing because it wouldn't work for what we're going for, so we're getting more stuff. Stuff ended up being 513. So I thought it was gonna be a little bit more, but uh now we have to load up the Jeep and get this back home and now we just start building. Alright guys, so we are back now. We got everything here. I just stopped for a lunch break. I got all my tools. We're about to go in. I'm gonna probably do a little bit of a time lapse. You guys have seen building IKEA stuff before. It's all pretty much the same. Me and Nick are gonna tackle it. We'll probably switch off working on certain things. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the TV up. We gotta mount it. I'm mounting it. I have mounted TVs before, one. But I am capable, we've got all the tools and uh, we're gonna do this. The worst part about Ikea is putting it together. So let's go ahead and run. It's probably gonna take us three hours. So let's do it. So we got the TV mounted up. I didn't want to record it. I didn't want that pressure. TV mounting is sketchy. It to mount to the stud. We did use the proper tools. We used stud finders. We used everything that we could in order to do it properly. It's gonna stay up. 
I, I, TV mounting is just always sketchy. So now we're mounting up the different cubes and kind of arranging them. So that's what we're doing now. And uh, we got all this done. All we really have to do is the cubes and then we'll have everything set up. And then we have to unbox all the different things like the floating sneaker shelf things. You guys will see. All right guys, so we have an unboxing from Tobu Sneaker. I believe that is how you pronounce it now. They gifted me two of these levitating sneaker displays, which I think are actually really cool. I've seen a lot of different people who have them. If you guys haven't seen these yet, just wait till you see what this is. When I say levitating sneaker display, I mean it. Right here it says the flying sneaker, and inside you have a digital scale to measure the proper weight. You have two little shoe protectors, and then you have all the different weights right here and the magnet, and then you have this, which is the stand. So basically how this works is there's a magnet up here that magnetizes and you put the magnet on the bottom of the shoe and it'll hold it and float it right here. So I think I wanna do the Chicago instead because it's a smaller shoe than that. I wanna to try to make it as easy as possible. 462 grams, so I'm gonna add some of these weights that they get provided, put them in there until we get to about 500. So I think this one should use two and I'm going to measure this out and try to get it perfect. Once I do, it should perfectly float. Sneaker is floating. You can see right between there, now I can spin this and there it goes, it's floating. So these are gonna be really cool to put on the sides of this new setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this over there, plug it all in. We're gonna have this and we have another one that we're gonna be putting up too. So let's go ahead and break down the whole studio and kind of where we're at right now. As you guys can see, this was the side that we set up initially. We used the same artwork from the last two studios. Right here, we put some big artwork there, big artwork there. On top of that, we have two Ikea wooden shelves that look really good. We have this sneaker display right here, which I went ahead and purchased. I just saw it on Instagram. I thought it was really cool. It was about 220 bucks, a little expensive, but I think I might be trying to do another one of those soon because I love how it looks on video. It's probably kind of a little bit bright. This is just used to kind of just display little accessories and things like that. And then of course we have the Ikea sneaker shelves here, which I didn't use for a while, but once I got them, they're really cool. So basically it's a really cool way to display your shoes. Right now I've got one on each, but you can kind of do two. You can stagger them. There's a lot of different things you can do with that. Behind that is basically the same as this front. You've got some artwork from a local artist named Greg Mike. You've got some Supreme Louis Vuitton, Supreme accessories, rejuvenator, all kinds of stuff, just as a nice, cool display. So this is just a nice backdrop to kind of show the sneakers. In front of that though, is where I do the editing for the video. So this is just a small Ikea adjustable desk, height adjustable with my iMac Mac Pro, this is what I used to edit my videos because they're all 4K, need a little bit of processing power. We've got some studio monitors, a 20 terabyte hard drive because these videos take up a lot of space, and then a Herman Miller desk chair. Very simple desk setup, not too much going on with that, but it just gets the job done. So in the center of the studio here, we ended up putting a rug, which isn't like the craziest type rug or anything. It's not an Ikea off-white rug, but we did this with the purpose of taking away some of the echo because it's very open here. Behind that, we just have a couch from Wayfair. It was like 250 bucks, not really comfortable. Somebody tried to sleep on it and it just wasn't comfortable for them. And then behind that is our unboxing desk that we just leave there. Somebody can sit there, bring an extra monitor, play some Xbox if they want to. So this is the new main setup that you guys will have seen that we have kind of set up specifically to finish up this video. We went ahead and went with these little boxes that are from Ikea that are floating. Now they have a little mount on there. Each of these boxes was $20 and then the mount was $10. And it's basically just a square that hangs on a mount that's in the wall. We use these to display things like sneakers. You have the Supreme Bear, this whole setup. So this is mainly like a living room setup. So underneath that, we have a TCL TV. Not to give a huge shout out, TCL provided this TV for the setup. Really cool 
cool. We went ahead and mounted that on the wall. We have not tucked the wires yet, so you can kind of see the wires there, but we're going to be doing that in the future. So that is like the surrounding area of the TV. On top of those boxes, we have a sneaker display. These are from sneaker displays. Now I just found these searching through websites and they ended up gifting me three different pairs and I ended up buying three more. Now they're just sitting up there. It makes the sneaker look like it's floating just in a clear tube. Hard to kind of see on video because of the reflections of the light. And then underneath all that, we have an Ikea TV stand. We have an Ikea little shelf where we put some boxes and some free box logos. And then over here are the main things that I'm so excited to show you guys. These are from Tobu Sneaka. These two are gifted right here and basically it is a floating sneaker. Now you might have seen some of the setup that I did or the unboxing. There's a magnet in there and it basically just floats the sneaker and spins. They are so cool. If you use code Neville on their website, you can get 10% off ordering one of those. Again, they did gift me these as well as Xbox was able to send out a Xbox One X for this setup. Really cool for somebody like Microsoft to be sending me out an Xbox. Like I can't even imagine that. Now over here, you just have the Supreme Director's Chair, Supreme Beach Ball and the Supreme Sled hanging just as a nice little feature. So you can tell that this is actually an apartment with the kitchen in the back. Now I know this might look weird. We have some nice lights up there. This is basically just, we want to make it fully functional. We didn't want to do like an office space because this is actually connected to where I live. So I can still come here. I have all the security of where I live because this place is super, it's like one of the most secure places in this area. So I don't have to worry about having so much security on like an office space. So I'm very excited about this. And we get some pretty cool views. We come over here, we'll bring down the brightness and uh, we're on the 18th floor. So look at that view. That is actually insane. So we get to look out at that after working every day. This studio also has a bedroom which my cameraman lives in. If you guys don't know, I've known my cameraman for 12, 15 years now. So we are really good friends. So he lives here in that bedroom. If you saw I did a makeover on his room, that was in a place in the same exact building, but we moved it three weeks later. So it looks exactly the same in there. We had to go and put everything back, but it's the exact same room. So it's still cool to be able to do that and uh, set it back up for him. But that's the new studio. We also added some skateboards up over there. Didn't talk about. We have some bear bricks here. Herschel bear brick. That bear brick is for a mystery box and I'm still waiting for the person to give me their address to send it to them. And then over here, we just have the camera set up. This is where we charge all the batteries, have the cameras and whatnot. So I think that's gonna be one of the, you know, most recent updates of this studio. We probably, I would say maybe in six months, we'll redo this stuff and maybe try to retransform it. But for now, this is a really cool setup. We have the use of the Xbox. We have the use of replacing sneakers. We have all these different displays. And I think that this is just very good for what we have right now. I'm very happy with how it turned out because it is full now. So we'll be filming some videos this way now, some videos this way, some videos this way, and we've got the couch that we won't sit on much because it's not really comfortable. Now we have to go ahead and show you guys privacy.com, which I was actually using before they reached out to me to work together, which is really cool. The most secure way to buy online. So let's go ahead and go to the computer and check out what it's like. Privacy.com basically lets you generate an online virtual card every single time you make a purchase to make all of your purchases secure. So none of your information is getting out every time you're making a different purchase. You don't have to worry about hackers taking your card information. It's a brand new card every single time. Now when making a card, you can go ahead and set a spending limit. You can go ahead and make it a monthly spending. You can make it a yearly spending. You can do a single use card. Now what I'm gonna do is make a single use card for $100. I'm going to add that limit. I'm gonna add a nickname to it and I'm gonna say one time hundred dollars and now it's going to generate a card number with that single use on it that I can go ahead spend a maximum of a hundred dollars and after that that card is done unless I want to use it again so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to the website this is Club Paradise I'm gonna be going and adding a t-shirt in a size extra large add to cart and go to checkout now I'm going to use my one-time generated code put the security code and I'll press pay now and watch how simple this is orders being processed after I put in the privacy card one-time use orders confirmed super easy. Now that card will not be charged again. I have a little bit left on it if I want to go on something else. Now right now, if you use the link in the description, you can get $5 towards your first purchase. This can be towards literally anything. You could buy some, I don't know, candy online, whatever you need to buy $5 for free. If you use the sign up code in the link in the description, just for you guys. That's going to wrap it up for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, please leave a like down below. I'll see you guys next time. This is Harrison signing out.